with the back pressed against the barrel and the feet planted on the floor in a slight squat position here, reach the body back over the barrel into an extended position, reaching the arms overhead and hold and breathe and let gravity assist your stretch. You'll notice Lorraine carried a little block back with her to support the weight of her head as she reaches back. This is a good idea to avoid hyperextension of the neck. So you may find you can insert the block for your client, or if you're working by yourself, work as Lorraine did, carrying the block back with you. Standing facing the barrel, drape the body over the barrel, finding that balance point and the feel of opening through the lumbar spine as you lay forwards and breathe. Focus the breath into the back and the sides of the body as you allow gravity to assist with the stretch and bring your focus in to the breath. Seated astride the barrel, knees and ankles flexed. Roll the pelvis back and squeeze the barrel with the inner thighs to hover the pelvis off, reaching the arms forwards, then up and out and around for a circle. And as the arms come around towards the thighs, you land back into your seat again, bending the knees and the ankles. Exhale to reach the arms up and inhale as you circle around to land. A lot of work through the abdominals, and the adductors of the hips. Seated astride the barrel, knees and ankles flexed. Posteriorly tilt the pelvis and squeeze the barrel with the inner thighs, reaching the arms up. Side bend to one side and then the other, back to the center and then release back to your start position. Reaching up on the exhale, inhale to side bend, exhale to center, inhale to the other side, exhale to center and inhale to land. You can repeat one side bend each side with one lift and one land. Or as Lorraine demonstrates on the second round, is holding up into that hover position and side bend each side for a number of repetitions. <laughs> 